Hi guys! Welcome to another Zoo to You here at Franklin Park Zoo. My name is Amanda. I am one of the Ambassador Animal Specialists and I am joined by Amy who is also an Ambassador Animal Specialist. And as you can see, most importantly, we have our Ambassador Ferrets Joker in Gotham with us today. Gotham is our ferret who is a little bit darker furred and Joker is the one right next to him. So you can see they're a little antsy to get down on the floor. We're gonna have you all join us for a ferret morning stroll, which means that they are leading the zoo to you today. So wherever they take us is where we will go. Now, just like you might have to do, maybe you're taking the, your dogs for a walk, they sometimes do get tangled and, and that's okay, but we're gonna let them lead the way here. Um, right now, we're actually in front of our red panda exhibit here at Nature's Neighborhood. We want to take them to a few animals exhibits today to see if they interact with any other species through the glass. Can't promise anything fun will happen out of that, but the best part about hanging out with ferrets is that you never know what's going to happen or where they're going to lead us to. <laughs> so they're going to take us on their adventure today. I'll talk a little bit about our um, our education ferrets, why they're here with us, some cool facts about them, as well as their relation to black-footed ferrets, um, which have a really amazing conservation story. So a little bit about Joker and Gotham. Gotham's who you guys are kind of taking a look at a little closer right now. These guys are about two years old, so they've been with us here at Franklin Park Zoo for that long. You might be wondering, why have I never seen the ferrets out on exhibit here at the zoo? And that's because these guys are an ambassador animal that live behind the scenes that only come out for special educational programs. So if you ever have um, a school program with us, or maybe you've caught us doing our special programs around the zoo, come to our zoo camp, that is when you would hang out with our ferrets. Um, domesticated ferrets, like Joker and Gotham, six to 10 years, on average, usually more around seven or eight. And they are extremely active animals, as you can see. Um, love digging, especially in the mulch here. That's one of um, their most enforcing behaviors, especially when they come out for time. It's definitely a natural behavior. These guys are natural hunters. They are, these are carnivores. It's surprising if you look at them, right? Because they're, they're so animals. Um, but they actually eat pretty much specifically all meat. Now, here at the zoo, because they are ferrets, they get a ferret shack that is made specially for ferrets, so that way they can get all their protein and nutrition and one type of food. But they can actually eat lots of different animals as well, and they do actually get it for treats here at the zoo. So they can eat rats, mice, they can eat um, snakes out in their natural environment, well actually eat snakes, um, all of those different types of small rodents. Um, and here at the zoo, we do feed them, oh, you got out of your collar there, um, to eat um, horse meat as well, which is something that we do feed them um, here at the zoo. And what's really interesting about that is that carnivore meat, that horse meat, is the same meat that they actually feed a lot of the big cats here at Franklin Park. And the ferrets can get that same exact meat, which is really impressive for such a small animal to be able to take on the same food as a lion. Tiger. Um, so that's how impressive they are as um, domesticated animals, which is pretty cool. Like I said, it's not their main diet, but it's something they can get for a treat in small quantities. Um, another really cool thing about these guys is that um, ferrets actually can't digest sugar at all. It's something very specific about ferrets. So they actually don't have a crazy amount of energy for a long period of time. These guys are usually only active about six hours out of the day and actually can sleep up to 18 hours a day, which is probably 
pretty surprising by how much energy you see Joker exhibiting right now for an animal to have such a large amount of energy in such short span times. So they usually spend most of the time um, into their exhibits cuddling and sleeping together. Um, so that's something that's really interesting about ferrets that you wouldn't have guessed before. <laughs> so you can see um, they have a really good sense of smell. You see that Joker is leading with his nose and his whiskers and that's how he's sensing his environment in the um, most easiest way possible for him. They do get different scents for enrichment in their exhibits. So they'll get different types of spices and like oregano or thyme and all those fun things. But the most enriching smells they get is definitely being outdoors if they are right now because they can just smell so many different things all at once. As you can see, it is something that they find really reinforcing and that they don't really seem to have any fear of anything. They are definitely straight on animals. They're gonna go straight to what they want to and not show much fear. But these guys still have predators out in their natural environment. Um, some of their biggest predators, I would say, are birds of prey, maybe coyotes or foxes. Um, even rattlesnakes would be in an animal that could be, um, that can potentially eat a ferret. Um, so they still do need to be able to look for those animals. Um, and these guys are really good at burrowing as well, and that would be a defense mechanism to be able to stay away from those predators. Now, I I, go ahead. We had a couple questions. Sure. Um, someone wanted to know if they are shy at all. That's a great question. So we don't tend to love to give those um, human traits onto our animals as if they are shy, but what I will say is that they don't show any behaviors that um, shows that they um, are find people aversive, especially strangers, um, as you can see. They're pretty um, easy animals to adapt to new environments. So they don't take much time to be desensed to new people or places or smells, as you can see right here. They pretty much take it on very easily and full frontal, so. They're about two years old, and they can live anywhere between seven and ten years. So that's a great question, yes. Yeah. So ferrets are social animals. These guys live um, usually in group setting. <laughs> you can see all that dirt on Joker's face right there. Um, so the best way to um, have ferrets is to have them um, at least have um, at least one other ferret with them. Um, having a ferret by themselves isn't always the best setup for them. Um, these guys technically can be pets, and some of you guys at home might have um, ferrets as pets. Um, we don't always recommend that because they are a really, really um, difficult animal to have as a pet. They require a lot of interaction. They require a lot of attention, um, a lot of roaming time. Like I said, these guys sleep a lot, but when they are awake, they need places to roam and explore, as you can see here. So they are quite a bit of a time, requ time requirement. Um, but it's funny you ask about friends because they are kind of ignoring each other right now. And that's because there's just so much happening right now in their environment that they're just too distracted to really pay attention to each other. Any other questions at all? So like I said, these guys can't really process sugar very well, which a lot of human food have sugar. So they don't really eat foods like that. Um, like I said, they're eating mostly their ferret chow and for um, novel foods, they'll get pinkies, which are like baby mice. They'll get, they can get rats. They, they can get horse meat, um, which is what we feed the carnivores here at Franklin Park. Um, so no, definitely not human food is something that's healthy for these. Um, that's a great question. So Joker actually isn't white. I'll bring him a little closer to the camera for you to see. 
Um, there are albino ferrets out there um, that people do breed to look a certain color. He definitely has a lot more um, coloration to him. There's some like little bits of like darker fur, um, but they can be all white. I've also seen um, white ferrets that have black eyes. So it means they're not officially albino. Um, so that is possible as well. Um, but yeah, just like most animals, they can all look very differently. And especially if you're getting them from people that are um, breeding them in certain ways. Um, and Jessica wants to know what the lifespan is. About seven to 10 years. So these guys are pretty young. They're only about two years old. So they got a lot of years into them. And we do give them tons of preventative care here at Franklin Park. So they can live a lot longer than um, their lifespan would be out in the wild. I think the last question we have time for, Patrick wants to know if they interact with the other animals that they feed. So that's a sure. great question. Um, these guys, um, like I said, there's two ferrets and they do live together. We do sometimes, like we do right now, bring them out to areas where they could potentially see the rindas um, from their exhibit or the prairie dog. And for the most part, they'll probably just ignore them. Um, but they would probably just um, probably t investigate a little bit. But we would never just let them um, be interacting with another species without some sort of barrier between both of them. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for our morning walk with our ferrets. Um, make sure to check back um, on our um, website and our Facebook for more Zoo to You videos and ways that you can actually meet our ferrets virtually. They are participating in virtual programs right now through our education department. Um, so definitely check our website out for that. And thank you guys so much for joining us on our ferret morning adventure.